。有人说结婚是爱情的坟墓，但你知道这是一生的盟约吗？你觉得婚姻是苦还是甜？要如何幸福到老 ？Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Keith Falver, and in this series of programs here on Good TV, we're going to be looking at how successful families begin with a happy marriage. In this first program, we're going to introduce. All of the wonderful blessings that God has for us in marriage. Let's look at it together. Welcome to this program. Successful families begin with happy marriages. I'm Dr. Larry Kefauver, and this is my interpreter, Christina. Hello. Hello. 大家好，欢迎你们收看我们今天的节目。我们今天要谈到的是一个幸福美满的家庭开始于一个成功的婚姻。那这位是葛福伟博士，我是担任他的翻译李正怡姐妹。And we want to welcome Wayne and Carrie as well. 我们今天也邀请到一位夫妻，我们一起来欢迎凯利和志伟。They are going to demonstrate and be an example for you of some of the exercises and sharing you can do practically at home. As a married couple, we invite them to the stage to demonstrate for you how they can have a discussion in the family when they are in the house. Now, the first thing that we are going to discover about a happy marriage is that it's a first thing that we are going to discover about a happy marriage is that it's a covenant, not a contract. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. First, we are going to look at what it means to have a happy marriage. 在这样的一个盟约当中，神是这个婚姻的头，然后才是丈夫跟妻子。You see, in a covenant marriage, the couple isn't trying to get、uh, each other to agree with them on what they personally want. They want to agree with God on what He wants.、嗯、在一个有盟约的婚姻当中呢，并不是夫妻双方试图的想要得到对方的一个同意，然后得到自己想要的。盟约乃是双方一起来知道神的心意，然后跟神同行。God is at the center of a covenant marriage. 在这一个婚姻盟约当中，神是中心。So in a Christian marriage, a couple discusses and shares and talks about what does God want for our marriage. 在这样的一个基督徒的婚姻当中，夫妻双方会常常的讨论到神对他们这一对夫妻的心意是什么。So one of the first things that、uh, my wife Judy and I discussed after we got married is whether or not God wanted us to have children. Uh, 比方说，我跟我的太太 Judy， 我们刚结婚的时候，头几年我们经常讨论的一个问题就是我们要不要小孩。And this often is a conflict in some marriages. 那这个主题呢，这个议题其实对一些婚姻来讲，对一些夫妻是个问题。Maybe the husband would say, "Oh, I don't think we should have children." Maybe the wife would say, "Oh, but I want children." Sometimes the wife says, "I want to have children." But see, that's a contract marriage where each of them is talking about what they want. That is the so-called contract marriage, where each person only wants to get what they want. In a covenant marriage, the husband and the wife they pray, they look at the scriptures, and and they discuss what does God really want for us. 在一个有盟约的婚姻呢，夫妻双方是一起来讨论，然后一起来祷告，寻求神对他们这个婚姻的心意。And of course, they may discuss,、uh, well, does God want us both to work outside the home, or does God want uh, uh, one of us to stay home and the other one to work? 他们有可能会讨论另外一个议题，就是是不是双方都要去工作，还是神是要他们其中有一方留在家里头 ？Here's the key to the discussion. 那整个讨论的一个关键是什么呢 ？It's not what I want. 关键就是不是我要什么。And it's not what my wife wants. 或者是我太太她要什么 ？We need to come into an agreement in a covenant marriage with what God wants. 啊，我们必须是跟我啊，我跟我的太太 Judy 必须要一起先来了解神的心意，然后一起与神的心意合一。For a marriage to be successful, it needs to be a covenant. 所以，一个婚姻要能够成功、幸福，一定他们要有盟约
God is at the center of the marriage. 神就是这一个婚姻的中心。This isn't just about、uh, praying and going to church together. 那我讲的这种中心不是说夫妻有去教会聚会或祷告而已。As we're going to see, this is about us having the same purpose as a marriage and a family. 真正的所谓的盟约呢，是他们能够去找出他们婚姻当中一个合一的目标。It's also in a covenant marriage about loving each other unconditionally. 而且是在这样的婚姻当中，是无条件的来彼此相爱。And it's setting the priorities in our marriage for our time, and and what we accomplish, the way God wants priorities set. 嗯，而且这个夫妻双方他们也会讨论出他们这个家庭当中的优先顺序，然后一起来决定神到底要他们怎么做。And we want to be certain that we don't compare our marriage or each other to other people's marriages or to other husbands or wives. 还有一点要注意的就是，绝对不要拿我们自己的婚姻跟其他的婚姻相比，或者拿我们的配偶跟其他的人来比。There can be a lot of conflict in a marriage if the husband says, "Well, I have seen." This wife or this wife do this. Why don't you? 有的时候我们很容易出现一个问题是，夫妻双方呢，其中一个就会讲，哎，我看其他的配偶他们愿意这么做，你为什么不愿意 ？Or the wife may say, "Well, all other husbands do this. Why don't you?" 或者做太太的会讲说，我看其他人的老公他们都愿意这么牺牲，你为什么不做 ？No, we as a couple work out. Our role and our responsibilities, and what we share together. 身为夫妻，双方必须先来讨论他们各自扮演的角色、责任，然后怎么样的来分摊这些责任。And you see, it's not about well, husbands go to work, wives clean the house, but it's about sharing together their responsibilities. 重点不是照着传统男主外女主内，而是说双方一起讨论如何分担家里的责任。Now I was talking with Wayne and Carrie before this program about who shares what responsibilities and how they have worked it out in their marriage. 在节目开始之前呢，我有先私底下跟志伟还有凯莉他们一起讨论，在他们家中谁是负责家务的。And not once did Wayne say, "Well, I think Carrie is a wife." Should do all the laundry and all the cleaning. 从头到尾从来没有听志伟讲过说啊，因为凯莉是女人，她是老婆，所以呢，家务都应该是她做。And I didn't hear Carrie say, "Well, I think that Wayne should do all the cooking." 我也没有听到凯莉讲说啊，我认为志伟他应该要负责所有的煮饭。They shared with each other what works best for them, and they always kept in mind that God is at the center of their marriage. 他们总是不断地为家庭、婚姻当中各式各样的状况一起来讨论，然后来找出神对他们的心意是什么。So I want you to hear them talk a little bit about how they've worked out the responsibilities in sharing in marriage, and how that has brought them happiness instead of telling each other what they have to do. 所以接下来我们要来请志伟还有凯莉他们一起来跟我们分享。他们在家里头是怎么做到这一点，然后怎么分担家务，以至于他们能够一直建立这样的一个美满的婚姻。这礼拜我工作很忙，很晚回家，那中午可能便当也没办法带，也就不开火了。嗯，好啊，有什么关系？嗯、反正有时候吃吃外面也不错啊。嗯，那就没有便当，没有晚餐。没有便当，没有晚餐，我觉得我们两个就就下了班去外面吃一吃。刚好这个时候，小朋友也的暑假到了，我们就早上我早一点起来，帮他们招呼，帮他们准备早餐，招呼他们上学。你可以多睡一会儿，在在我们在一起上班呢。那包括扫地、洗衣服。哎，我看他们两个哦，反正小朋友两个暑假到了，我就招呼他们两个一起来弄，然后让他们学习开始学习怎么样扫地、怎么样拖地，顺便也学习怎么折衣服。哎，这倒不错哎。好，那下礼拜开始再换我扫地、洗衣服。没问题。好，那我们就这么办喽。OK。Notice that in a covenant relationship, two people talk with each other, not at each other. So, in a successful marriage, there is a very important thing that is important: that the couple are talking to each other and not commanding each other. And because two people love each other unconditionally, they are willing to 
listen to each other and find ways to show their love for each other. And notice that Wayne did not say, now Carrie, this is what I want you to do and you shouldn't be doing this. And vice versa. Carrie didn't say, Wayne, you must be doing this. I am so busy. They didn't That's give right. each other orders. They talked calmly and shared with each other. Yes. Yes. Uh, 凯莉跟志伟他们两个人的交谈当中，很清楚看到他们没有任何一方是用命令的方式说：“哦，你这样子不行，那我要配合你，我不愿意。”他们是呃用很敞开的态度来交谈。So in a covenant marriage, you also have to communicate lovingly in order to set priorities. 在一个有盟约的婚姻当中，很重要的一件事是，不止你要敞开的交谈，而且还要一起立下你们的优先顺序。Now they had already set an important priority before they ever started this conversation. 当然，在他们夫妻当中，他们原先就为家庭有设了一些的优先顺序。They had decided to listen to each other. 比方说，他们决定要。And they have the most important attitude that marriage can ever have. So they have a very important attitude in marriage. We call this the Jesus attitude. Now we call this the Jesus attitude. Now we call this the Jesus attitude. Jesus said, "I came not to be served, but to serve." Jesus tells us, "He came to serve, not to be served, but to serve." He came to serve. And as you listen to their conversation, they were trying to find ways that they could serve and help each other. 刚才在听他们之间讨论的时候，可以发现他们双方都在找一个方式可以去服侍到对方。This is what marriage is about. 所以婚姻就是应该这样。In a covenant marriage, we serve God and we serve each other. 在一个有盟约的婚姻当中，我们是彼此服侍，也一起来服侍神。Now something very special happens when we have this attitude. 当我们有这样的一个正确的态度，就会有一个奇妙的事情发生。We have our own needs get met when we serve the other person. 当我们愿意先服侍对方的时候，我们个人的一些需求就会得到满足。It was very clear that Carrie needed Wayne's help in some ways. And he was willing to serve her, and then she, in turn, was willing to serve him back. 很显然，从刚才凯莉跟志伟的交谈，我们看到，呃，志伟非常了解这个凯莉她这一周的一个状况，所以他愿意来帮她。那凯莉也说，她愿意在下一个礼拜，她要来帮助，呃，她要愿意来去补偿这个部分。So marriage is a covenant. 所以婚姻是一个盟约。God is at the center. And because He is at the center, we learn to do things God's way instead of our way. Because God is our center, so they learn to do things God's way instead of our way. I know some husbands that would say, "Well, marriage has been done this way for years and centuries and centuries, and therefore you have to do it this way." The husband tells the wife what to do. 我认识的有一些做丈夫的，他们会这样讲：几个世纪以来，做老公的不都是这样子这样子做吗？那为什么现在要改变 ？The husband may say, "I'm the boss in this marriage." 这些做丈夫会讲，他是这个婚姻这个家庭的老板，这个头。The, the wife and the children will do whatever I want. 所以老婆跟孩子都要听我的。That's called a contract marriage. 那个叫做合约式的婚姻。And the problem with a contract marriage is that if you get one person unhappy with the relationship. They leave the relationship. They get a separation or divorce. 契约式的婚姻会出现的问题就是，一旦其中有一方不开心的话，他们就可以选择离开。But in a covenant marriage, it's not about the wife getting what she wants, or the husband getting what she wants, or in the family, the children getting what they want. They all want the best for each other. 在一个盟约的婚姻跟家庭生活当中。不是夫妻各自，或者是儿女们，他们各自去想我的满足，呃，我的需要怎么样得到满足 ？Unconditional love in a marriage is wanting the very best for everyone else. 所谓无条件的爱，就是时时的愿意想到对方，希望帮助他们满足他们的需求。In a Christian marriage， 在基督徒的婚姻里 ，the unconditional love says this。一个无条件的爱会这么会这么表达。
I want God's best for you. 就是我希望看到神的心意在你身上完全。I want God's best for your health. 我要看到神，他让你是完全健康。I want God's best for your time. 我要看到你的时间完全得到利用。I want God's best for your rest. 我要看到神能够帮助你得到很好的休息。I want God's best for your nutrition that you would have healthy food. 那我也希望看到你能够从神那边得到最好的这些的营养跟健康。Because when everybody receives God's best, 因为当每一个人他都能够从神那边得到最棒的 ，then they can be their best for each other. This is truly a happy marriage. This is a happy marriage. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie. We're going to go back to Uh, 慢慢 and one of the things that we don't do enough of in our marriage is is to be thankful for each other. 通常在一个婚姻里头会出现的另外一个问题，或者我们做的有不够的地方，就是我们不够感恩。And not just thankful for what we do, but for who we are. 而且那个感恩的部分不是因为对方做了什么，而是单单纯为了对方这一个人这个生命感恩。So I'm going to ask Wayne and Carrie in a very simple way to share five things that they're thankful to God for for in each other's life. 啊，所以接下来我要请凯莉跟志伟用非常简短的方式来分享出他们。啊、uh, ，为对方这一个人所感恩的五件事情，五个特质。Let's listen to how they're going to do this. 我们来看看他们会怎么样说。刚刚 Dr. Larry 要我们说五个，对，有五件事情，所以我很感谢上帝在你身上有一个很、很、很正直，然后也很、很体贴，然后。也很，哦，很会认路哦，很会认路，很会认路，对。然后也很做事情很负责，还有最后我想更感谢主，是你很孝顺，特别是孝顺我的父母。感谢主，嗯。那我要感谢主的是，我觉得你身上有很多特质，包括说，我觉得你非常的阳光，然后很大方，太阳，对，月亮，很大方，然后很很就是心里面很很善良。然后你很热情，嗯，然后另外一个很重要的是，你很漂亮，啊，不止五个啦，那 Larry 怎么只给五个而已？ You know, in the Bible it says this very simple phrase: always give thanks. 在圣经有一节经文讲的很简单，他说凡事感恩。That doesn't just mean to God. 这个不是对神感恩而已。That means in relationships. 包括我们人际关系都要。It's wonderful when a husband and wife regularly、mm. thank each other, even for things that they always do. We should never take each other for granted. 在婚姻当中，很重要的一件事情是，你不能因为结婚很久了，对方常常做的一些事情，你就视为理所当然，反而更是要常常找机会来感谢对方。You see, in a covenant marriage, whatever we do to serve each other. Is out of love and wanting to bless each other. 在一个有盟约的婚姻当中，夫妻双方是要不断的找机会来表达他们对对方的爱。But in a contract marriage, 但是在一个合约式的婚姻里 ，each one says, "Well, I'm doing this because I have to." 啊，每一个人都会讲说啊，我是不得已，我只好为他做这件事。It's my duty. 是我的责任，没办法。So I'll do it if it makes you happy. 好吧，我就做了，只要你开心就好。Well, there's no joy in that. Actually, there is no love in that. 事实上是没有爱。You see, unconditional love means that I do something out of love, not because I have to, but because God's love is in me. 所谓无条件的爱，就是我今天是出于爱，真心的爱，我才为对方这么做，不是因为我必须，没得选。And it becomes very dangerous in marriage when there is conditional love. 
在婚姻当中非常大的一个危险，就是他们的爱变成是有条件的。This is conditional love. 有条件的爱是什么呢 ？Now, if you do this, then I'll do this in return. 你如果愿意这么做，我就愿意用另外一个方式回报你。But if you don't do what I want you to do, 如果你不照我的方式做 ，then I'll withdraw. 那我就不理你。I won't do what you want. 我也不会照你的想法做。And that way, we start punishing each other. 这样的状况就开始双方互相惩罚。You see, in a covenant marriage, we're always finding ways to bless each other and be thankful. 在一个盟约的婚姻当中，双方不断的在找机会要去表达他们的爱，然后服侍对方。But in a contract marriage, we're sort of keeping score. 但是在合约式的婚姻里，他们是好像一直在为对方打分数。Well, you must do this for me because I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and so I've earned this. 你会想说，我帮你做了这些事情，所以现在呢，就要换你为我做这些事情。You see, marriage is not a game. 婚姻不是一场游戏。It's not about keeping score. 也不是要打分数。It's not about winning or losing. 也不是代表谁赢谁输。It's about serving and blessing. 而是在乎。You know, God, if He had wanted to, could have destroyed us because we crucified His Son. 其实神如果可以选择，他一定会来毁灭我们所有人，因为我们人把他的独生子钉死在十字架上。But instead, He forgave us because He loved us. He doesn't keep score. 但是神他最后的选择是饶恕我们，他没有为我们来打分数。God loves us unconditionally. 神是用无条件的爱在爱我们。So in a covenant marriage, each person tries to imagine how would God do this? How would God say this? 在一个盟约式的婚姻里，双方都会不断的去想，如果是神，神要我怎么为我的配偶来做 ？And the other person can hold us accountable. 那另外一个人，对方呢就会呃，让我们好像成为一个负责任的一个对象。I said to my wife many years ago, I only want to do what God tells me to do. I only want to do in our marriage what God says to say to you. 呃，很多年前我曾经跟我太太 Judy 这么讲过，我说我只想照照着神所吩咐我的来跟你说，呃，或者是在我们的婚姻做一些的选择。So Judy says, so when you don't. Sound like the Father, when you're not acting like the Father, the Heavenly Father, then what do I do? 那 Judy 马上反问我说，那么如果你的一些决定或者是行为看起来不像天父的话，我这个时候能做什么 ？And I said, well, just say to me, Larry, is that really what God told you to say, or is that really what God told you to do? 那我就告诉我太太说，你可以在那个时候就问我说 ，Larry， 你真的认为这是天赋，这是神要你做的吗 ？Now I did not take this as her being critical of me or judging me because I gave her permission to hold me accountable in the relationship. 我并没有因为我太太这么反问我就认为她在论断我，我反而把她认为就是她是一个让我为自己的行为能够有所交账的一个一个伴侣。And I held her accountable. Well, the truth is, God held us both accountable. 事实上是是神，他让我们双方都要能够彼此交账。Is God at the center of your marriage? 所以啊，请问你，神是不是你婚姻当中的中心呢 ？Are you accountable to Him for all you say and do with each other? 你在你的婚姻当中所做所说的每一件事情，是不是能够向神来交账呢？ We're going to look more closely at this after our break. 我们休息完回来之后，会针对这一点再继续检讨。Remember, a happy marriage is a covenant marriage. 所以一定要记得，一个幸福的婚姻要建构于盟约上面。Remember the triangle. 要记得这个三角形。God is at the top. 神在上面。Then the husband, then the wife. 然后两边就是丈夫跟先呃太太。And here's their attitude. 那他们的态度就应该是这样。How may I serve you? 我怎么样能够服侍你呢 ？And that's unconditional love. 那个就是一个无条件的爱。We'll see you in a moment after the break. 休息完回来，我们再继续谈。
。有人说结婚是爱情的坟墓，但你知道这是一生的盟约吗？你觉得婚姻是苦还是甜？要如何幸福到老 ？Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Keith Falver, and in this series of programs here on Good TV, we're going to be looking at how successful families begin with a happy marriage. In this first program, we're going to introduce. All of the wonderful blessings that God has for us in marriage. Let's look at it together. So before the break, we said that a covenant marriage has God at the center. 在休息之前，我们谈到说一个啊、uh, 有盟约的婚姻是以神为他们的中心。It's not about the husband getting what he wants or the wife getting what she wants, but both of them agreeing on what God wants. 这个重点不是啊、uh ，丈夫或夫妻任何一方只想要得到自己想要的东西，而是一起寻求神的心意。Now a Christian marriage is a covenant marriage based on what the Bible says, not what the culture says. 一个基督徒的婚姻，他们应该是要去认识按照神的一个心意的婚姻，而不是按照他们的文化传统所说的婚姻。You see, um, while I may be an American. My marriage isn't based on what marriages are are like in America. 我虽然是个美国人，但是我的婚姻不应该是去以我们美国人的文化的婚姻来为标准。You may live in China. You may live in、um, Taiwan. You may live in Malaysia. Wherever you live, your culture does not determine what your marriage is like. 你今天可能住在中国或者是台湾。或马来西亚其他国家，但是你的婚姻不应该是以你所生活的这个文化习俗来为标准。God's covenant determines what your marriage is like. 应该是由神的这样的一个盟约，然后来决定你们婚姻的关系。Now we said that、uh, loving each other unconditionally is part of covenant marriage. 我们前面也有提到，在一个盟约的婚姻里头，无条件的爱是一个要素。Now here's the next thing. 那接下来呢？ Marriage is for life. 婚姻是一辈子的事。Let me say that again. 我要再讲一次。God's purpose is for us to be married for life. 今天神他既然要我们结婚，这就是一辈子的事。Now I know that every once in a while, and as a pastor, I've seen this, that marriages get into deep trouble because one person may be very angry or abusive or mean. But most of the time,、um, uh, that doesn't happen. Both people start off pretty healthy and ready to make a commitment for life. 身为牧师，或者我知道在现实生活当中，确实有的时候会出现一种婚姻状况，就是夫妻当中其中一方突然开始性格大变。会变成可能会变得很暴力，或者是有一些严重的状况出现。可是我们知道，大多数时候没有这种情形。And as a pastor for forty years, I've had people come to me and they say,、uh, "Pastor, does God permit divorce?" 我牧会四十年的时间当中，很多人问我，牧师，到底神他接不接受离婚 ？Well, he does in certain ways, but Let's don't focus on whether he permits divorce. Let's focus on whether he wants a blessed marriage for life. 我们的焦点不应该是说神他容不容许离婚，他确实是容许。但是我们真正的焦点应该是在于神要怎么样来祝福一个婚姻。So marriage is intended by God to be for life because of certain reasons. 神他有某些的理由，想要让这一个婚姻是一生之久。First of all, when you have a lifetime to build a relationship with someone, you can really bless them. You can really get to know their needs. You can make them feel complete. 当你知道这个婚姻是一生之久，你就会愿意花时间慢慢的去经营，去了解对方的需要，了解你怎么样的能够帮助他。You see, there's one person who can complete you. It says in the Bible. And the two became one flesh. We must know that in marriage, when two people are united, they become a complete person. This is the Bible. Two are one flesh. Marriage is the perfect picture of unity. Marriage is the perfect picture of how Jesus loves the church. 
呃，婚姻也是能够让我们看见耶稣对他教会的爱是什么样子。So God intends for marriage to be a blessing. 所以神他的心意就是要来祝福婚姻。A blessing for a lifetime. 而且这个祝福是一生之久。The second thing is that we are married for life to be a blessing to our children and our grandchildren for generations to come. 另外一个就是在这样的一个一生之久的婚姻当中，我们自己要成为我们的后代子子孙孙的祝福。And we know that a happy and blessed marriage is a blessing to the church. 我们也知道一个幸福美满的婚姻会成为教会的祝福。And a blessing to the culture. 也会成为他们文化的祝福。So marriage is so critically important. To extend God's blessing for generations. 由此可见，一个幸福的婚姻，它真的对世世代代有很大的影响力。So if you're sitting with your wife or husband right now, just look at each other and say, "We're married for life." 如果你现在身边你的配偶就坐在旁边的话，就跟对方讲，原来我们是要结一辈子的婚。Years ago, Judy and I came very close to a divorce. 其实，在几年前，我跟 Judy， 我们两个几乎走到离婚的地步。And it was because we were unhappy with each other and ourselves. 那是因为我们不仅对对方不满，也对自己不满。I didn't feel that Judy met my needs. 我觉得 Judy 她没有满足我的需求。She didn't feel that as a husband I met her needs. 她也同样有这种感受。So we were unhappy. 所以我们非常不开心。And so we thought that unhappiness could give us an excuse to get a divorce. 那个时候我就认为，既然双方都这么不快乐，那我们干脆离婚。In my Bible, it never says this. 可是我的圣经里从来没有这么讲。God never promises this. 神从来没有这么应许过。Every day of your marriage, you will be happy. 他没有讲说你的婚姻每一天都是快乐的。That's not true. Some days you will be sad. 有的时候你会很难过。Some days will be filled with tears. 有的时候你会掉眼泪。Some days you won't even like the other person. 有的时候你看到对方就很烦。But you know something? Your feelings don't hold your marriage together. 但你要知道，维系婚姻的不是你的感觉。And I I know some couples who say, well, our marriage is is held together because we have so many things in common. 很多人会讲说，今天我们能够维系这个婚姻，是因为我们有很多共同点。We have the same interest. 比方说，共同的兴趣。We enjoy the same things. 我们喜欢做同样的事情。But you may change. 可是你们几几年之后可能会改变。Having so much in common does not guarantee a lifetime of happiness. 双方有一些共通点，不能保证你们这一辈子都会快乐。Enjoying the same things together doesn't mean that. Uh, you will be married for life. 喜欢做同一件事情，不代表你们就能够快乐的维系这个婚姻。Guess what keeps a marriage together? 什么东西才能够让婚姻维系在一起 ？This is what kept our marriage together. 那我就来分享维系我婚姻的这个要素。God 就是神。You see, God has more love for us than we have for each other. 神对我们的爱远超过我们对对方的爱。When I need more love from my wife, I can get it from God. 如果我需要对我的太太有更多的爱，我就从神那边支取。When I need to be able to forgive my wife, the power to forgive can come from God. 当我需要来饶恕我太太的时候，我的饶恕的力量就来自于神。When I need to love my wife unconditionally, that love comes from God. 当我需要用无条件的爱来爱我太太的时候，我就从神那边支取。In a covenant marriage, 在一个盟约的婚姻里 ，the wife doesn't have to hold the marriage together. 不是由太太一个人来维系婚姻。The husband doesn't hold the marriage. 或者是丈夫一个人。God holds the marriage. 是神来维系这个婚姻。And they both have the same attitude. 然后双方，他夫妻双方有相同的态度。How may I serve you? 就是我要怎么服侍你。So this is the key to a covenant marriage. Now we have to be very careful. 嗯，但是我们还需要小心的一件事。Because in marriage, we are given to each other to meet each other's needs. 在婚姻当中呢，我们也在给对方一个机会来满足我们个人的需求。This takes work. 
这个是需要费啊，要很刻意去做的。Be sure to watch all the programs in this series. 所以，呃，我鼓励各位能够来完整的看完我们这一整个系列。We're going to talk about what husbands need out of marriage. 我们也会谈到一个丈夫在婚姻当中的需求是什么。We're going to talk about what wives need in marriage. 也会谈到妻子在婚姻当中的需求。And these needs are rooted in the way God created us. 这些需求其实都是神造他们的时候的心意。And God has created us to serve each other's needs. 神造我们造婚姻的时候，就是要双方互相服侍。And if we don't serve each other's needs, 如果我们不满足对方的需求 ，then we find ourselves looking to somebody else to meet our needs. 就会开始从外面去找人来满足我们的需求。And we see affairs and divorces happen. Because somebody's needs is are not getting met, and then they look to somebody else to meet those needs. 离婚或者是发呃出现第三者，都是因为呃他们双方开始有人想要从外面得到满足。So we're going to talk in later programs on how to divorce proof and affair proof your marriage. 我们这个系列的后半段会谈到怎么样能够让双方一起来成功的维系一个婚姻。But right now, I just want to look at one part of this issue. 但是现在，针对刚刚所谈的，我们要来讨论一个议题。If we become unhappy with our spouse， 如果我们呃对我们的配偶不满意怎么办 ？We might start comparing like our husband to other men, other husbands。通常很可能会马上就拿他们跟别人、别的夫妻来做比较。And then begin to believe, well, they would make a better husband for me than you。然后就会想说，哦。另外，那个老公或者太太比你还要称职。Or we may say to our wife something like this. 或者做丈夫的会对太太讲。Well, this wife that we know, they do this and they do this, but you don't do this. Why not? 我们认识这个太太，你看她愿意做这个做那个，你为什么不做 ？Paul warns us in First Corinthians that we are not to compare ourselves to each other. 使徒保罗在哥林多前书特别去告诉我们，绝对不要拿自己跟别人比较。Here's where comparison comes into a covenant marriage. 比较会怎么样的出现在呃一个盟约的婚姻呢 ？It's comparing our character to God. 应该是要拿我们来跟神比较。And here's what I look for in my wife. 我要从我的太太身上找出什么特质呢 ？I look for character qualities in my wife that are like God. 就是找出她跟神很相近的特质。I don't look for things to criticize. 我不是去找他的缺点来挑毛病。I look for things to bless. 我是要找出他好的地方祝福他。I look for things that draw me to her because she's so much like Christ in that area. 要找出他呃非常有基督样式的这一一些点，然后让我吸引我的地方。For example. 比方说。My wife is very forgiving. In fact, she often forgives me before I even know what I should repent of. 她甚至在我还不知道我要悔改什么之前就已经原谅我。And that makes me feel secure. 因为这样我就很有安全感。Of course, I make mistakes as a husband. 我做丈夫的当然会犯错。Of course, I say wrong things. 我当然也会说错话。So instead of her just getting silent and saying, "You should know what you did wrong." 嗯，所以他不是采取冷战的态度，想说你应该知道你做做错了什么。Instead of her getting hurt and yelling at me for something I've done wrong， 或者是他就觉得很受伤，因为我做了一些事情得罪他。She's very kind to say, "I want to forgive you for this because I know you didn't really mean it." 嗯，他反而会告诉我说，啊、哦，我要让你知道你做了这个事情，我感觉不太舒服，但是我晓得你不是故意的。And that immediately makes me feel safe, and makes me feel we can talk about this without getting angry with each other. 他这样的态度让我能够觉得很有安全感，而且可以很自在的跟他讨论这些事。So I'm so thankful that that Judy is forgiving like God is forgiving. 所以我很感恩的是 ，Judy 她跟神这一点很像，就是非常能够原谅人。So what qualities are in your Wife or your husband that are like God's qualities. 那么你的配偶生命当中有哪一些特质是像神的呢？
You want to affirm those qualities. You want to build your relationship on those qualities. Because the stronger we get in those qualities, the more the weaker qualities will disappear. So we're going to go back to Wayne and Carrie and listen to them. They are going to share with each other characteristics of God's character, qualities of God's character that they see in each other.然后我总是觉得你好像东挑西捡，而且一直挑剔别人的毛病，找别人的缺点。可是我却忽略说，其实上帝给你一个精细的头脑，你常常会把很多事情了解的更透彻，你是在解决问题，而且你解决问题之后
啊、呃，我们接下来来请教呃志伟还有凯丽，他们来分享神对他们婚姻的意向是什么，以至于他们能够用这样的意向彼此服侍，服侍他们的小孩，还有在事工上面。提到婚姻的意向，其实以前我一直觉得，我希望我们的婚姻是一起服侍上帝。可是这段时间，感谢神，你跟我一起在歌 TV 服侍。但我现在真的觉得，上帝给我意向就是，服侍你就是服侍上帝。嗯哼，那我对于婚姻的意向就是，婚姻是一生之久。嗯、呃，过去曾经在我们的婚姻当中，我们也曾经把离婚说出口。但是如今我知道，这个在我们身上是有上帝的命定，这个婚姻是不可能可以离婚的。然后也因为我们彼此相爱。所以，孩子看到我们两个的关系越越来越好，他们的生命，他们也更会依靠神。他们知道上帝可以解决我们家的问题，所以他们依靠神，然后他们也解决他们生命中，把上帝可以居首位。这是我最期盼的，在我们家里面，因为我们依靠神，我们的婚姻关系依靠神，所以我们的亲子关系，让孩子也学习到他们一生要依靠神。这个是我衷心期盼，也非常美好的。What you've just heard from Wayne and Carrie is how you move from sort of a contract marriage to a covenant marriage. 我们刚才从他们简短的分享可以听得出，他们从以前一个类似契约式的婚姻，然后一起开始进入到一个盟约式的婚姻。When we are young and married,、uh, we have a lot of immaturity. 我们还年轻的时候，一结婚，我们有很多不成熟的地方。And each person comes into a marriage with their own vision for the marriage. 每一个人带着自己的想法跟期待进入婚姻里。So the husband may say, "Well, I want my marriage to be this and that," and we and and we we have our own idea. 那做丈夫的可能会想，我希望我的婚姻是这个样那个样。呃，双方都会有各自的一些期待跟想法。And the wife may say, "Well." This is my vision for our marriage. 那太太可能会讲，我对我们婚姻的意向是这个样子。And when that happens, there will be conflict. 一旦是这样的时候，双方就会起冲突。But if they listen to each other. 但是如果他们愿意来聆听对方。If they really put God at the center of their covenant marriage. 如果他们真的愿意把神放在这个盟约婚姻的中心。They will start to grow. And the conflicts will become discussions that reach agreement with God. 原本的冲突会成为他们一个能够一起透过讨论，然后来越来越亲近神的方式。Finally, they'll understand. Well, neither one of us has the full picture for our marriage, but God does. 最后双方会发现，原来啊，我们双方没有一个人是真正完全了解神对婚姻的一个想法。要一起才呃，在一起才会知道。So you need to do what Wayne and Carrie discovered as a Christian couple. First of all, you talk it through. 所以我们鼓励你啊，能够来学志伟和凯丽他们的方式，能够双方有一些的讨论。You love and you serve God. 你们一起爱神，一起服侍神。You pray. 你们一起祷告。You listen to each other. 然后聆听对方。And then you begin to see the doors of opportunity that God opens for you in your marriage. 你渐渐就会看到神在你的婚姻当中开始打开很多门。This is the way a covenant marriage works. 这就是盟约婚姻的一个方式。May your marriage work this way. 但愿你的婚姻也是这个样子。Let me pray for your marriage right now. 现在让我为你的婚姻来祷告。Father, I want to thank you for your love in our marriages. I pray that you give every husband and wife that's watching this program unconditional love for each other. 现在我为收看节目的每一对夫妻来祷告，他们都都能够从你那边支取无条件的爱来爱对方。I pray that you give them the desire to be married for life. 我也求你帮助他们能够渴望来跟对方结一辈子的婚。I pray that you give them the desire to make God's priorities their priorities. 我也祷告他们能够愿意让神你的心意成为他们啊婚姻当中的优先顺序。And that each person will grow in God's character and quality in their marriage. 然后婚姻当中双方都能够一起在神按照神的特质跟心意来成长。
May God's vision and blessing fulfill your marriage. 愿神的意象还有祝福来充满成全你们的婚姻。In Jesus' name, Amen. 奉耶稣的名祷告，阿门。有人说结婚是爱情的坟墓，但你知道这是一生的盟约吗？你觉得婚姻是苦还是甜？要如何幸福到老 ？Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Keith Falver, and in this series of programs here on Good TV, we're going to be looking at how successful families begin with a happy marriage. In this first program, we're going to introduce all of the wonderful blessings that God has for us in marriage. Let's look at it together. Welcome to this series、uh, of programs on having a happy marriage. I'm Dr. Larry Kefauver, and this is Christina. 欢迎大家收看我们这一次这个关于一个幸福婚姻的系列啊。Uh, 这位是葛福伟博士，我是他的译者李正怡姐妹。I also want you to welcome Wayne and Carrie. 同时，我们现场也要欢迎我们的凯利跟志伟。They're going to help be examples for us as we go through building on each other's strengths. 他们要帮助我们能够啊，让大家来看到怎么样能够建造一个呃更强呃强壮的一个婚姻。Now, in a marriage, we're learning that a marriage is a covenant marriage. 我们学到，在上一堂课学到，在一个婚姻当中是以盟约为主。So if you imagine a triangle, there are three people in this relationship. 你可以把婚姻看成是一个三角形，所以在这个三角形当中有三个角色。There's God. 一个是神。Then the husband and the wife. 然后是丈夫妻子。God is at the center of a happy covenant marriage. 神是整个幸福婚姻的中心。Marriage is not about what the husband wants or what the wife wants. Marriage is about what God wants. 婚姻的重点不是夫妻双方各自要得到什么样的呃一些满足，而是要一起寻求神的心意。And the attitude that we have in marriage is how may I serve you? 那在婚姻当中的一个态度应该是我要怎么服侍你 ？Christ came and said he came to serve us, not to be served. And in a covenant marriage, we serve each other. In a covenant marriage, we serve each other. One way that we serve each other is to build on each other's strengths. 其中一个服侍的方式就是要以对方的长处来发展 Now let's talk about what this means. 那这是什么意思呢 ？When we go to build a relationship, our human tendency Is to look at the other person's weaknesses. 人其实有一个倾向，就是很容易去挑对方的毛病。And so I will have、uh, husbands and wives come to me in marriage counseling and say, "Well, these are my spouse's weaknesses. Will you help us fix them?" 我常常啊、uh, 遇到一些夫妻，他们来找我咨商，那他们所谈到的都是。我的配偶有这些问题跟软呃这个软弱或者是缺点，你可不可以帮我们来修正对方 ？Well, if we just focus on the weaknesses, then the the marriage never gets stronger. 如果婚姻当中只是专注在对方的缺点，你这个婚姻永远没有办法发展。It's like having a joint that is weak. 嗯，那个就好像我们其中有一个部分的关节很弱。The way we overcome the weakness of the joint is to take the muscles that already have strength in them and make them stronger. 要能够让关节更去强化，反而是要去锻炼它旁边的肌肉组织。So fo focus first of all on what are the strengths that your spouse brings to your marriage. 所以首先要做到的是先去看对方的长处。And instead of Trying to change the other person, what you want to do is have God change and strengthen you. 你不是去想办法改变对方，而是先看他的长处，让神来改变他
So as you begin to focus on the positive strengths, you'll start to release the negative weaknesses. 当你开始专注在对方这个非常正面、正向的长处的时候，你会发现对方的缺点就慢慢消失。In the Bible,、uh, we read this. 我们从圣经可以看到 ，focus your thoughts on what's true and right and good. 你要专心专注在那些是良善美好的事情。Think upon things that are pure and lovely. You have to think that is pure and lovely things. Dwell on the fine and the good things in each other. You have to constantly look at the good things in each other. That's almost the opposite of the way we think. This is completely different from what we do in our daily lives. We criticize our pastors. We criticize our government leaders. We criticize our wives, our husbands, our children. We are usually critical of our wives. 呃，这个批评我们的牧师，批评我们的国家，或者是我们的配偶。But the Bible talks about this uh, uh, attitude as being wrong. 但是圣经清楚讲到这种态度是错的。First of all, in our marriages, then we need to be delivered of a critical spirit. 所以首先我们在婚姻当中一定要先被对付的态度，一个灵就是批评论断的灵。Of negative thoughts about each other. And we want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good and strong and wonderful. We want to focus on what's good We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that can benefit our marriage. We have some skills that A hammer and nails and wood and a saw. His father, 呢，基本上对于这种呃木工的东西是很不擅长的。So she never imagined that this is something a husband would know something about. 嗯，所以她从来没有想过她的丈夫会做这些事情。And so she had me. Ah,、uh, once she discovered I knew how to work carpentry, build all kinds of things. 她后来就发现。哦，原来我知道怎么样的去做一些木工，去做很多的东西。She had me repair things. 她就开始要我去修理家里一头一些东西。She every time I did something with carpentry, she affirmed it and praised it. 每一次我只要动手开始做一些木工，我太太一定会肯定我，赞美我。So over the years, I got better and better. 那经过几年下来，我就越来越好，手越来越巧。Until finally, we actually.、Uh, Virtually built a whole house together. 最后我们居然两个人一起盖我们的一栋房子。Building this house together was、uh, interesting and fun, and it was something that really strengthened our marriage. 盖这个房子的整个过程不但很开心，也让我们的婚姻更坚固。So a simple thing like affirming my abilities and skills with carpentry actually strengthened our marriage. 借由我太太她肯定我的才华。反而让我透过这个木工，让我们的婚姻越来越坚固。So the same is true for you. 所以你也是一样。What are the gifts that you have? 你本身有什么才华呢 ？I learned that my wife had great gifts in helping people get better in terms of their health. 我发现我太太她的一个特别的才华就是能够帮助身边的人越来越健康。She knew a lot about eating right and nutrition and good foods. 嗯。他非常知道这个呃一些健康食品或者饮呃饮食一个正确的饮食习惯。So she said to me, "I want to fix you nutritious meals so you are healthy." 他会告诉我说，我要帮你预备非常健康的饮食，让你可以更健康。Notice she didn't say, "I think you eat unhealthy. You shouldn't be eating all that fried chicken. You shouldn't be eating all those hamburgers." 要注意的是。他的讲法不是说，哎呀，你不应该吃汉堡、披萨这些不健康、垃圾食物。So instead of criticizing my weakness for liking junk food, she started building on her strength of fixing good food. 所以他呃没有
来批评我的这种啊、呃、不好的一个习惯，就是喜欢吃垃圾食物的习惯，他反而是来发展他的才华。And eating nutritious food actually tastes good. 我后来发现吃这些健康的饮食，这种营养的东西是非常棒的。I affirmed her gift of cooking and fixing nutritious meals. 我就开始肯定她的这种烹调的这些才华。Now this is very simple. But it's very important for building a strong marriage. 听起来好像很简单，但是对于一个要建立坚固的婚姻是非常重要的。What talents and gifts does your mate have that makes them a strong person? 你的配偶他们身上有哪一些的才华，让能够来一起用来来发展建造你们的婚姻呢？ When they use their talents and their gifts in the marriage, and you use yours, guess what happens? You build a stronger marriage. 当你们双方一起来善用各自的才华的时候，你们会发现你们的婚姻就越来越坚固。Now, what I would like you to try out in your marriage is to sit there and just share with one another some of your observations of the gifts and the talents. That your other that that the other person has. So I encourage you to be able to sit down with your partner and talk to each other about what you see from the other person's talents. Let me share with you a personal story. Ah, I will share my personal story. Years ago, around 1995, my wife said to me,、um, "You're a very good writer." 差不多在九五年的时候，有一天我太太告告诉我，我是一个很棒的一个作者。Now, I had pastored a church for about t h years. 那个时候我牧会差不多三十年。And I had written some books and some curriculum, but I wasn't spending a lot of time writing. 那偶尔写过几本书，也写过一些这个就是我们工作坊的一些的讲义，但是我从来没有把这个当做我的焦点。And she said. You're a good writer. I believe that you could not only write books yourself, but you could help others write their books. Uh, so he told me, "Say, actually, you not only have this ability to write books, I believe you can help others write books." And she said, "I'm willing to help you、uh, build on your strength." He just wants to help me to develop my strength. I will do some things、uh, with my work and my career that will support you in this way. 他就说他会在他的呃工作、他的服饰的上面做一些的啊调整，能够来帮助我的这个才华能够更发挥。Because it was risky living a full-time position as a pastor and starting to write books, and you don't know if they're going to sell, you don't know if you're going to have income. 原因是啊、呃，要当一个全职的牧师以外。还要把另外的时间，剩下的时间拿来写书。其实要这样子能够过生活是不太容易的。So we prayed. 所以我们一起祷告。We got wise counsel from other people. 那我们也从其他一些智慧的人啊、uh, 得到一些建议。I talked to some publishers and writers and asked them,、uh, "What do you think? Will you help me do this?" 那也跟一些出版社还有其他的作者一起讨论，啊、uh, ，问他们愿不愿意帮我。And every place we turned, we got confirmation from God. 不管去找谁谈，我们都从神那边得到印证。Now that was in 1995. 那个是在九五年的时候。So since 1995. 就从那一年开始。I have had 60 books published. 我总共出版了六十本书。In 12 languages. 啊、uh, ，翻译成十二种语言。And I've had two and a half million books in sales. 呃、uh, ，我的书总共销售了差不多两百多万本。Now this all came about because my wife saw a strength in me. 这一切的结果是因为我太太她看到我的才华。And building on that strength has blessed our marriage. 发展帮助我发展这个才华也帮助我们的婚姻。Has brought blessing to our children and grandchildren. 呃，也为我们的孩子跟孙子们带来祝福。Has brought blessing to other countries, like、uh, I have books in Chinese, thanks to good TV. 嗯，也也为其他的国家带来祝福。比方说，在台湾啊，因为好消息电视台就帮我出版，帮我翻译我的书。So here's the point. 重点是什么 ？We need to build on each other's strengths. 就是我们要协助对方发展他们的才华。And here's what we're going to do. 那接下来我们要做一件事。I want you to listen to Wayne and Carrie for a moment. 啊、uh, ，我要邀请你们一起来听听志伟跟凯莉怎么说。They're going to share with each other, just like I want you to share at home. 他们会呃、uh, 来彼此一些分享。那
They're going to share with each other some of the strengths and gifts and talents that they see in each other. Let's listen. Mary提到要夸奖你的长处，我想到说，其实你每次在家里。真的是很会解决问题 任务跟方向感，以至于你去哪里，呃，你到任何地方，亲戚朋友都会找你，找你来问路。你的电话，你的电话就是GPS，所以我觉得很棒。然后你解决问题，解决问题的能力让我很有，觉得觉得很很有很
culture will get strong and healthy. 那你的文化就会越来越坚固健康 and, and the church and the family. 教会家庭也是一样 Here's what we've said. 这是我们刚才说的 Successful families begin with happy marriages. 成功的家庭生活来自于一个幸福的婚姻 A happy marriage is a covenant marriage. 幸福的婚姻是一个有盟约的婚姻 Where two people Relate to each other the way God wants us to relate to. 夫妻双方愿意按照神的心意一起建立关系 Now, you're probably a Christian if you're watching this program, and if that's true, God says over and over in the Bible that we are to pray without ceasing. 如果你今天在收看这个节目，我猜想你可能是个基督徒，那你一定知道圣经告诉我们，我们要不断的要啊不停止的祷告。We have heard over and over again that prayer builds a strong relationship with God. We often hear the teaching that prayer can help us build a good relationship with God. Now let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get real about this. Let's stop being super spiritual and get Conversation with God. 与神交谈 So if this is true, 如果你真的做到 and conversation with God strengthens our relationship with Him, 与神交谈就能够兼顾我们跟神的关系 How much more conversation with each other will strengthen our marriage? 那么想想，当夫妻双方愿意彼此交谈，是不是婚姻关系也会得到兼顾？ What God teaches us to do in our relationship with Him works really well in our relationship with each other. 神教导我们跟他建立关系的这种方式，其实也能够直接的来帮助我们在婚姻上面来运用。So sharing with each other about strengths and gifts and talents will help the other person grow. 所以要常常的在夫妻双方之间。Ah,、uh, 来分享对方的才华或者是恩赐 ，and it will strengthen marriage. 这个能够兼顾你们的婚姻。Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is how understanding the other person's personality will strengthen our marriage. 接下来我们要看的一点就是如何从对方的一些性格上面找到一些能够兼顾婚姻的特质。God has created your wife or your husband. With a unique personality, 神创造你跟你的配偶的时候，都是有非常独特的性格。Probably the personality of your spouse is one of the main things that attracted you to that person. 当初吸引你的可能就是对方的这些特质，性格的特质。But when I do marriage counseling, a couple comes in and says, "Well, I don't like my husband. I don't like my wife anymore." 我在做这些智商辅导、婚姻智商辅导的时候，常常会听到这些。啊，做丈夫跟妻子讲说，我很讨厌他们这种个性。They say I don't like this in the personality of my husband. I don't like this in my wife's personality. 我不喜欢我老公这一点，不喜欢我老婆的那一点。So then I say, well, did God create their personality? 我就会反问他们，那这些特质是不是神创造的 ？And they said, well,、uh, I guess He did, but I just don't like it. 他们会犹豫的讲说，啊、uh, ，应该是吧，可是我就是不喜欢。And so I said, "Well, you married that person with that personality. So are you saying that、uh, you made a wrong decision, or you really didn't、uh, like the person when you married him?" Uh, 可是当初你不是决定要嫁给他，然后或者是娶他吗？那你的意思是说，你们结婚的那个时候，其实你是很讨厌他的。Well, of course they they back off some, and and then they say, "Well,、uh, but I'd like this to change, or like that to change." 这个时候他们会稍微退一步的，就想说，哦，也不是啦。不过我就希望他这一点或那一点可以做些改变。Well, the personality that your spouse has is a strength; it's not a weakness. 我们要知道是你配偶的一些性格，其实是他们的长处，而不是短处。Psalm 139 says that God has made us fear; we're fearfully and wonderfully made. 诗篇一百三十九篇告诉我们，我们受造奇妙可畏。So here's what we're going to do after the break. We are going to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's personality. We want to understand more about our spouse's
更进一步的来认识我们配偶的一些性格。We're going to learn how to accept them the way God created them. 我们要来接受、接纳神创造他们的这些独特性。Instead of trying to change them. 而不是去改变他们。And once we do this. 当我们愿意这么做。We'll discover that we actually complement each other. 就会发现我们是在截长补短，互相补足。That God fits together personalities that form one flesh in marriage. 真的能够去看到圣经所讲，男人与女人女女人要互相结为一体。Your wife's or husband's personality was made just for you. 你的配偶他的这些个性就是为你所设计的。See you after the break. 休息完后回来。Break. 有人说结婚是爱情的坟墓，但你知道这是一生的盟约吗？你觉得婚姻是苦还是甜？要如何幸福到老？ Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Kefauver, and in this series of programs here on Good TV, we're going to be looking at how successful families begin with a happy marriage. In this first program, we're going to introduce all of the wonderful blessings that God has for us in marriage. Let's look at it together. Another thing that we need to have in our marriage is an appreciation of each other's personality. 在婚姻当中，我们需要彼此欣赏的还有另另外一点就是双方的个性。In a covenant marriage, we appreciate that each of us is fearfully and wonderfully made by God. 在一个以盟约为主的婚姻里头，双方都要去知道每一个人他的受造都是奇妙可畏。So. I'm going to talk a little bit about personality and 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 how we're made in our personality. So, 接下来这一段我们要来谈，就是我们怎么样去找到找出对方的一些个性，以及神造我们的独特特质。And this is coming from research that's been done all over the world for years, and thousands of people have been studied. 呃，那这个部分其实是有一些的呃，资深专家，他们花了很多年的时间，一直在研究这一块。So our personalities uh, have uh, different parts to them. 我们的个性其实有包含各种不同的属性。One of our temperament traits is extroversion and introversion. 其中一种属性就是外向内向。Now, no person is a hundred percent extroverted or a hundred percent introverted. 我到目前为止还没有碰到有哪一个人是百分之百完全的外向或内向。We're usually a mixture of both, but we have a preference toward one or the other. 每一个人其实都有这两种属性，只是某个部分比较强烈，比较明显。So for me, I'm a little bit more extroverted than I am introverted. 所以以我来讲，我基本上比较属于外向，内向的部分比较少。An extroverted person gets their emotional energy by being with people. 那外向的人呢？他通常情感上力量来源是跟别人相处。Now, an introverted person enjoys people, but more one at a time, and and likes to sometimes withdraw and be with stuff, read a book, be in a quiet, comfortable chair, not in a big group of people. 内向的人通常是他们也喜欢跟人相处，但是比较喜欢一对一的这种方式啊。呃大部分时候会选择一个人独处，找一本书，听听音乐，喝咖啡。Now, what's interesting is that usually in marriage, opposites attract. 你会发现，婚姻通常啊，夫妻双方是一个锅一个盖。And so you may have an extroverted wife who is attracted to an introverted husband. 所以很容易看到，可能太太是很外向的，然后先生就是很内向的。Because her personality says, "I want to draw them out. I want to be with them." Because this extroverted person thinks, "Oh, I want to let the extroverted person out and go out and run around with me." And the husband is fascinated by this extroverted wife. But the extroverted husband will think, "Wow, this extroverted wife is amazing." Now, when they marry, this can be a source of strength or a source of conflict. When they marry, this can be a source of strength or a source of conflict. In order for a marriage to be strengthened by each other's personality, 
we have to understand and accept one another. 如果要让婚姻能够来呃、uh, 有更健康的、更快乐的一种啊、uh, 方式的话，就是要借由呃、uh, 接纳彼此双方个性的部分。And it's very important that we don't try to change the other person's personality because their personality is a gift from God. 而且很重要的一点是，不要尝试改变对方的个性，要认出对方的个性是神所造的。So here's how we understand it. 啊、uh, ，我们所了解到的一个部分是这样。If both of you are extroverted, then you know you both enjoy going out, you both enjoy being with people, and that's fine. Except that you you do need some quiet time in your marriage. 如果夫妻双方都是很外向的人，你会发现他们两个都很爱往外跑，跟朋友在一起。可是最后会发现，你们也需要有一些独处的时间。On on the other side, you both may be introverted and you stay at home all the time and you never are with people. 也有可能夫妻两个人都是很内向的人，结果就变成两个人一天到晚都是在家里，不跟外面的朋友交往。So for the sake of your marriage, you need a little balance and you need to have friends and and be out and do some things with them. 所以为了你的婚姻，你们必须认清楚你们的特质，然后稍微找到一个平衡点。But let's say that one of you is extroverted and the other one is introverted. 那我们来看另外一种呃配搭的方式，就是外向跟内向。It's important that you appreciate the other person's personality, and that you understand and work with the other person. 我们很需要做到的一点是认出对方他的个性，然后跟他的个性一起配合来工作。So because Let's say the wife who's extroverted understands her husband's introversion. She's not always trying to drag him out to be with people. 比方说，如果这个做妻子的很外向，然后先生很内向的话，做太太的就要知道说，她不要一天到晚试着把老公带到外面去到处跑。And at the same time, the husband can teach his wife how to. Spend some quiet time together at home. They don't have to be in a group of people all of the time in order to enjoy one another. 那这个做先生内向的先生，他也可以试着来帮助他的太太怎么样学习。他们夫妻需要有一些独处的时间。See this way, our personalities begin to balance and complement each other. 这种方式会让我们的婚姻得到一种平衡。There's nothing wrong with Being extroverted or introverted, we just need to understand each other. 外向跟内向没有绝对的不好或好，我们只是需要啊、uh, 要彼此了解。And it's very important not to try to change the person. 非常重要的是，你不要试着改变对方个性。This will frustrate both of you. 这会让双方都很挫折。Oh, I know you're an introvert, but I'm going to change you. I want you to become an extrovert. 我知道你是内向的人，但是我一定要改变你。There'll be a lot of conflict. 就会造成很多冲突 There'll be arguments. 会常常争吵 No, work with each other. 你们要双方一起来努力 Again, it's so important to talk to each other to understand where the other person's personality is. 同样的，你们双方也需要一起有时间来讨论对方的个性是什么 So I want you to share with each other. 所以我鼓励你们要能够一起常常分享 And in a moment,、uh, Carrie and Wayne are going to share about all these different personality things. 我们接下来我们会看凯莉跟呃志伟他们怎么样的来讨论分享呃自己的一些的个性 They're going to talk to each other. 他们要来交谈 This helps them understand each other. 帮助他们更认识对方 You see, I don't want to fix my wife. I want to understand my wife. 交谈的目的不是改变对方，而是能够跟他一起同工。Because I was attracted to that personality. Because 当初我其实就是被他这个个性吸引 And the very thing that attracts me, I now need to understand. 当初吸引我的这个个性，我需要更认识 And that way we can enjoy each other more. 这样的话就能够更喜欢对方 So what about you? Are you more extroverted or introverted? Did you do you get your emotional energy more from people, or from being in a quiet place and doing things? With stuff instead of people. 那你的个性呢？是外向还是内向？你喜欢跟一堆人在一块，还是你比较喜欢去做一些事情，一个人来做 ？And then there's another、uh, personality dynamic. 那还有呃、uh, 个性的部分，还有另外一种属性。Some people are very visionary. 
，就是有一些人是属于印象意象型、愿景型。They、always are creative. They have big ideas. 充满创意，然后常常都有这种伟大的梦想。We see that we say they can see the forest, but they can't see the trees in the forest. 我们说这些人呐、啊，他们是有远视，然后他们有近，他们是这个呃，他们看不见最近的这些事情。These are big picture people. 那这些就是叫做有愿景意向的人。On the other side are the detail people. 另外一种人呢，刚好相反，他们是看重细节的人。They always want to know the specifics. 他们总是要知道。这个、They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. They see the trees, but not the whole forest. So you have these two sides of personality. 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 So you have So,、uh, if you live with a visionary and you're a detail person, then help them see the details, but affirm the vision. 如果你自己是看重细节的人，你的配偶是一个看大图片的人，那么你们就要一起来讨论，帮呃彼此互相帮补。Now there's another part of personality in marriage. 在婚姻里头，个性还有另外一种属性。Remember the first thing that we said was extroversion and introversion. 第一种个性是外向内向 ，visionary and detailed. 第二种个性是愿景型还有细节型 Then we th- then we look at people who are more thinkers than feelers. 另外一种就是我们讲理性跟感性 You see, some people make decisions based on logic and facts. 有一些人，他们决定的要素是在于啊这种逻辑分析。Other people make their decisions and responses based on their emotions and feelings. 另外一种人是按照他们的感受、感觉来做出决定。Now here again, one isn't right, one isn't wrong. 那同样的，我们要知道没有哪一个是错，哪一个是对。Now, usually in the general population, women tend to be more making decisions based on their feelings. 一般我们从调查之后得到的结果是，女性通常比较多是感性，用感觉做决定。Men make their decisions sometimes based on their thoughts and reason and logic. 男人通常是理性分析，然后再来做决定。For example, 比方说 ，a husband may say. One plus one always equals two. 丈夫很容易会讲，男人很容易讲，一加一就是等于二。But the wife may say, "Well, you know, today I would like for one and one to equal three." 可是做太太的可能会讲，哦，我希希望今天看到一加一等于三。The husband says that makes no sense. 丈夫就会讲，这没逻辑啊。Why do you want it that way? 你怎么会要这样这样做 ？Oh, it just feels better. You see, they are in opposite directions. They are in opposite directions. They are in opposite directions. But I can tell you,、uh, while I'm a thinker and my wife is a feeler, I deeply appreciate her feelings. But if I know that I'm a thinker and my wife is a feeler, I deeply appreciate her feelings. I'll say to her, "Here's the logical reason we should do this," and I give her all the reasons, and they all make sense. 那我可以写出所有我的一些的理由跟分析的结果。But she'll say to me, "There's just something not right here." 那她可能会讲，嗯，我觉得这样的一个分析有哪里不太对劲。I feel we should wait. 我觉得我们应该等一等。I feel we should pray more about it and and consider it longer. And you know what? 那你知道吗 ？Usually, her feelings are a better indicator than my logic. 通常我们看到的是她的感觉比我的理性分析还正确。
We need each other. We need to involve our feelings and our thinking. What is your preference? Which side are you more like? The final thing in temperament is, is called people who are very orderly, organized, they go by their calendars, they're very structured with their schedule. 那另外一种属性就是，有的人他是呃，什么事情都要先规划好的。This kind of person uh, always has to check their calendar and their schedule to be sure that everything's in order and they can do it. 那这种人呢，他们不管讨论什么事情，一定都会检查他的行程表啊，一定要确保每一件事情都是有规矩、有次序的。but on the other side, some people are very spontaneous. In fact, they really hate rules and order and structure. They like doing something that's spontaneous sometimes. It, uh, it's not on the calendar, it's not on the schedule, but it's just fun. Uh, so my wife is very spontaneous. I always have my calendar. She will say, uh, do you have any plans on Saturday? I'll say, no, let's make some. And she'll say, no, let's don't. 他就会讲,哦,我们不要做规划。Let's just have an open day. 我们就那一天完全开放。Let's just do whatever comes along. 然后那一天想做什么,就去做。I am so insecure. 这样的会让我会觉得很没有安全感。What will happen on Saturday? 礼拜六会发生什么事。But you know something? 可是你知道吗? Saturday comes? 遇到礼拜,礼拜六来了。I am the real structured person, but you know what I decide to do? I decide to plan not to have a plan. 我是一个喜欢有规划的人，我就会刻意告诉自己，礼拜六那一天不要做任何规划。And we do something spontaneous, and it's really enjoyable. 然后就决定要即兴的做一些事情，后来发现很开心。So we learn to work together. 所以我们学会啊，一起来啊，同工。With each other's personality. 按照对方的个性来一起合作。Now we're going to listen to Wayne and Carrie talk about their own personalities and how they respond to things with their personality. And the purpose is not to say, well, that's right or wrong, or you need to change this or that. The purpose of this discussion is just to understand each other better. Let's listen to Wayne and Carrie. Let's 然后很弹性的人 然后凡事要按照节奏来的人，虽然我不一定看schedule，可是其实schedule是放在我的脑袋里面。然后我其实是很有时候是，虽然绝大部分是是理性啦，可是有时候也会带一些感性做事情。所以我我们其实有一些差
。所以夫妻之间能够谈我们自己的个性非常重要。First of all, you can share things about yourself that the other person may not ever be able to observe unless you share it. 所以，首先我们要知道的是，如果我们有主动来分享，通常我们的配偶他可能不知道我们的个性。And the second thing is, you can observe things about your spouse that they may not、uh, be able to observe about themselves. They may, you may be able to explain some things about what you see that they never see in themselves. 另外一种交谈的方式是，能够去分享出你看到对方的一些的个性。这可能帮助你的配偶去啊、uh, 去看到他自己的一些的盲点。For example, years ago,、uh, I would go out and speak and do training and all of these seminars, but Judy would never go with me. 呃、uh, ，比方说，有很多年来，我都是一个人独自出去啊、uh, 去办这种研习会跟教导，我太太都不会跟着我去。She said, "Well, you're the speaker. You're the expert. You go. I'm introverted. I don't like those big crowds of people." 我太太会讲说。啊、uh, ，你才是主要的这个讲员嘛？那我又比较内向，所以你去就好了。And that was fine. 那这个都没关系。But I noticed that when she talked, especially to the wives and the mothers in our church in a small group, that she was really good. 但是后来我注意到，每次她只要跟我们教会里面的一些姐妹、一些做太太的来交谈，我就发现她很棒。She had a lot of wisdom. And she really helped encourage, especially、uh, wives and mothers. Uh, 而且她非常知道怎么样的来鼓励这些呃、uh, 做妻子或做妈妈的。So I said to her, I see a strength in you, in your personality that I think would bless other people. 我就告诉她说，哎，我在你的个性里头看到一些呃、uh, 强强项，呃、uh, ，我发现你非常知道怎么去鼓励这些女性。And she says, "No, no, I don't think so." He says, "Ah, no, I don't think so." I said, "Let's try something." Then I just say, "Let's try something." I'm going to go be. I'm going to go teach on、uh, parenting. Ah, I just say, "Next time, I'm going to teach on parenting." And you have a lot of wisdom on parenting. Ah, I say, "You have a lot of wisdom on parenting." So why don't I teach and I'll just hand you a microphone? Ah, I teach and I hand you a microphone. And as I'm teaching, if something comes to you, a thought comes to you, or something that you want to share, spontaneously, without it being planned, just say it. 那我也告诉他说，就在我教的这个当中呢，随时他只要一觉得说他有一些灵感或一些想法。Remember, she's the spontaneous person. 因为我前面讲到，他是一个非常即兴的人。And I'm the one that plans everything out. 我是一个要有规划的人。She said, "Would that be all right with you if I just interrupted you and said something spontaneous?" He was very worried. He asked me, "Is this really okay? Because you are a person who likes to have a plan. If I interrupt you and interrupt your teaching, would that be okay?" I said, "Well, I understand your personality, and I think that would be just perfect for me." I told him, "I understand your personality, and I think that would be just perfect for me." So we tried it out. We tried it out. Her personality and my personality, we were working together. 发现我们两个人的个性刚好截长补短。I would be very planned, she would be very spontaneous. 我是有规划的人，她就很即兴。And what developed was about ten years of us teaching all over the world with this plan, with this model. 最后，我们过去的十年就用这样的一种形态到处的去做教导。Why did this work so well? Because I understood her personality, she understood mine, and we worked together. That's because we both understood each other's personality, and we worked together. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about understanding each other. That's what marriage is all about. Gifts and the talents in each other, affirming them and and making them even stronger. 找出而且肯定对方的优点，对方的强项。This is what covenant marriage is all about. 这个就是一个有盟约的婚姻。You see, God, God has created us very special. 神造每一个人都非常独特。And as a result, if we understand each other. If we prize each other's gifts and talents, then we will be able to prize each other's gifts and talents. And if we 
want God's best for each other. 而且希望神的呃、uh, 最棒的祝福临到他们。That will strengthen our marriage. 这个就会来兼顾我们的婚姻。And not only will it bless each other. 这个不仅为对方带来祝福。As our marriage grows and is blessed. 当我们的婚姻一起一啊不断的成长，而且蒙福。We're going to be able to find ways to bless our children and our grandchildren and other marriages. 我们就会。啊、uh, ，找到一些方式能够来祝福我们的儿女，还有我们的子孙。I want to encourage you to do the kinds of things in your marriage and in sharing that we've done in this program. 我鼓励你能够运用我们在这一个教导当中所学到的这一些的讨论。To follow the good example that was set by Carrie and Wayne. 然后来效法，就是凯利跟志伟他们所分享他们的一些的模式。So now I want to pray for your marriage. Now I want to pray for your marriage. Almighty God, I pray for every husband and wife that's watching right now. 全能的神，我要为现在在收看我们节目的丈夫跟妻子。That you will give them a desire to understand each other. 你能够给他们一个渴望，愿意了解对方。That you will help them encourage each other and build on their strengths. 然后帮助他们能够用他呃对方的长处来营造婚姻。And as they understand each other's personalities, 当他们越来越了解对方的个性 ，that you will help them work together. 你也能帮助他们一起来啊合作合一 ，make their marriage a blessing. 让他们的婚姻成为一个祝福 ，to each other, to their families, and to the church. 成为对方他们的家人还有教会的祝福。In Jesus' name, Amen. 奉耶稣基督的名，阿门。